Wouldn't it be nice if when a patient arrives with a King Airway or LMA in place, that you could quickly and easily and at your leisure exchange it for an endotracheal tube between the cords without worry of complete loss of the airway or an additional hypoxic insult. Here's how you do it, but a little background first. The King Airway is an excellent rescue device or alternative airway device if endotracheal intubation cannot be accomplished quickly and easily. The tube is placed into the esophagus either with a laryngoscope or without, and then air passes through the normal port from the BVM through these side ports from the esophagus into the trachea with a distal balloon and a proximal balloon obstructing air from coming out. Eventually this will need to be changed. Uh, in the ICU, the patient will need to have bronchoscopy or other events, and an intratracheal tube, although not emergent, is a better thing to have. To change it, it could just be removed and then an intratracheal tube pass the normal way. In theory, you should be able to take a bougie, pass it through the King Airway tube, and it should come out directly over the trachea and pass into the trachea, allowing for a Seldinger technique where an intratracheal tube can then be passed over the bougie into the cords. However, in reality, this doesn't always work. One problem that can happen is as the bougie is passed into the King Airway, it can sometimes hang up on this little lip and, and not come out. In addition, if the King is a little too proximal or a little too distal, this port may be directly over the esophagus and not pass. If the King Airway is not seated perfectly, the bougie may travel down the King and emerge from the port and strike the side of the esophagus missing the trachea entirely. So we propose a better method. An appropriately sized King Airway is placed in the usual method in the esophagus and the balloons are inflated. The patient is ventilated and resuscitated. The flexible fiberscope is placed into the main lumen of the King Airway and guided to the side port which abuts the larynx. Critically, you cannot pass the fiberscope through the end of the King, which is obstructed by plastic and leads to the esophagus. You must turn to exit through the side port. Pass the scope between the cords and several centimeters into the trachea. Disconnect the fiberscope from the monitor and then using trauma shears, cut the scope. Deflate the King Airway with suction immediately available in case of regurgitation. Then, either with the assistance of a laryngoscope or blindly, pass an endotracheal tube over the fiber optic and watch it pass between the cords. With this technique, you can quickly establish oxygenation and ventilation in some of the most challenging airways, and then, once resuscitated, change over to a more long-term endotracheal tube for ICU management.